Reduced to just standing around. How absurd. The way people charge in here as they please, so uncivilized. If I didn't know this was Tenshukaku, I might have mistaken it for some kind of street market. Have you learned your lesson now? Oh no! What has she done to Kujasara? The right to punish Inazumans for their crimes is mine alone. Not yours, Signora. Then I apologize, almighty Shogun. I know, I know, you can't- Don't go thinking I'm surprised to see you here. I'm well aware that you hate me, with the way you follow me around like a dark shadow. Ah. So you came to it. <laughs> huh? She doesn't take us seriously at all. Stop talking about people and things that I care nothing about. They were nobodies to begin with, and their names will be forgotten. But now, at least, they get to be building blocks. Is that not the greatest honor they could hope? Almighty Shogun. Hmm. That's ancient history. You certainly love to hold a grudge. The Tsaritsa's dream is these other mundane details you insist on mentioning? They're just n- You? For what it's worth, I've grown tired of seeing you around as well. Before you go saying something you can't take back, remember that you're Inazuma's most wanted criminal. I suggest you consider your circumstances. Charging into Tenshukaku uninvited and lecturing me in front of the Shogun wasn't- I'm not sure you realize quite how much- I challenge you to a duel before the throne! <sighs> Proceed. My, you're full of surprises today. I'll admit that I never expected to be in a si You are aware that the loser must die. Are you sure? <laughs> then I will deign to share this last dance with you. Till death do us part! <laughs> A lesson on harbinger power and elegance? <laughs> As you wish. Time to act. Yeah. 
Burdensome. I will manifest my destiny anew. Await my emergence and tremble, traveler. You have reason to be afraid. Flame, lay waste to frozen shell and witness my suffering. <laughs> in fires of sin and retribution, your soul will be incinerated. Immolation, a cherished agony. Do you feel it? Brace your searing reckoning. <laughs> Ah! 
I am a Snezhnayan diplomat. You know what happens if you lay a finger on me. I swear, if you strike me, I will make sure... The Fatui will make sure that your precious Inazuma... Stop! I order you! And you! Filthy rats! All of you! You are the enemy of eternity. <laughs> but as the victor, I acknowledge your honor. Therefore, I shall allow you to leave Tenshukaku alive. Like 
there's a lot of noise coming from outside Tenshikaku. Has a fight broken out or something? Oh, the guards seem really nervous. Well, let's go see what the situation is, shall we? be those who dare to brave the lightning's glow. We meet again. Indulge my curiosity. What is the reason that I f do you hope your foolhardiness will shelter those people? Or... was it simply a means of seeking an audience with me? Oh? <laughs> Surely you didn't rouse me from my state of eternal meditation only to tell me this. <laughs> if so, then you underestimate me. Not so. Only everything that pertains to the Vision Hut decree has my tacit- The Fatui's actions thus far do not constitute a threat to eternity. Otherwise... They would have been purged long ago. Individual ambition is inherently incompatible. What you might not realize is that all too often... Consider this. No one will lose their life on a... Rather, those who have lost their lives are the ones who insisted on... Traveler, your... There seems to be limitless uncertainty in you. <laughs> to put... So, I won't insist that you comprehend the meaning of my actions. That's right. Huh. Anyway, you're looking for a chance to shake my will. Hmm, so be it. Well then. Excessive yearning leads to inevitable destruction. The evasion is futile. Disappear! Tears like dead! Tear! Tear! This ends now. Thank you! Huh? No, my sword! The evasion is futile. Lightning falls on the land of eternity. In fear. Let's go, let's go. Ah. <laughs> no. Yeah. I'm a rock. Boring. <laughs> Rain outlines your face. Good. Yeah. 
This hands now. Yeah. <laughs> Evasion is futile. Strike dead. <laughs> oh, I smell why. <laughs> Attention. Aren't you cutting it rather close? Hmm? Miko, this was your doing? <sighs> now, now. Don't forget who taught you how to place your consciousness in objects. Surely you don't think your ambition alone is enough to shake A's will, do you? Though you alone are here, they too have ambitions which they long since entrusted to you. Now then, close your eyes. We can abolish the Vision Hunt Decree! Lament! 
trust your people. These ambitions have transcended space and time. They are something that no one can snuff out. Is this the lesson you learned from your journey? There are nations where humans cast their goddess. So are we to just abandon the notion of progress for the sake of... You and I have both witnessed the great eternity. When lightning flashes, it casts a shadow. My name means shadow. With my blade, I purged all obstacles to progress. And yet, something was lost with each step forward. In the end, I even lost her. The tales are still retold in the shade of every Thunder Sakura. But the wounds left on our nation by that terrible loss still ache. Never stop searching, even if only for a brief flash of light. If nothing else, we have the present moment. She said that once. But I've seen a nation stride forward and lose everything to the heavenly principles. Perhaps only if time stands still will the lightning's glow never fade. The present moment is a fragile illusion. Only eternity can bring us closer to the heavenly principles. I am no longer the shadow. Mine is the most supreme and noble form. Let power over the realm be vested within me. In this form shall I honor my subject's dream for a land of eternity, unchanging forevermore. The heavenly principles. When all's said and done, all you really want is to protect your beloved... <laughs> that... But is this nation worth existing for? Stripped of ambitions, stripped of the potential for change. Hmm. I wonder what loss would it really be to anyone if such a nation were destroyed? Miko, retract your words. Never changing eternity is the promise I made. But what your people need from you is not your promises. They want your attention. Your divine gaze. <laughs> You mean visions? Human- Hundred years. They cannot afford to bear any ex- But I have experienced it all. Oh, <sighs> but eternity is far too- <sighs> Not only have you stopped paying attention to the world, it must have been terribly lonely. But it is necessary. You will miss much by refusing progress. You seek to prevent loss, but have you cons- You are obviously lonely. And yet, for the sake- Tell me this. Why is the sky here that was once so dark glowing again? Why now? This is your plane of euthymia, so it can only mean... That you are happy to see me again. I... <laughs> but I have so much to say to you. <laughs> How long will- As a fox envoy, I have an excellent memory. I recall every detail of the last few centuries with- perfect clarity so it will probably take me <laughs> <sighs> since you are willing to <laughs> what a childish convert anyway now that i have been defeated by you and your plan but with regards to eternity and the <laughs> as promised the raiden shogun abolished the vision hunt decree Finally, her people's wishes penetrated her locked heart. Beyond the plain of Euthymia, she saw what eternity means in the eyes of the world. 
when one's fervent ambition burns brightly, the gods will cast their gaze upon you. Some ambitions have the power to heal wounds, to bring victory, to inspire hope. But some ambitions outlive their masters long after the soul ascends. They remain as they were in the beginning. Burning bright and true for all eternity. Vision Hunt Decree abolished? Oh, gotcha! So... Talk to the Electro Archon whenever you are troubled. What? Another bad one? No, let me try again. Hello, if it isn't the triumphant traveler. You literally told us to come <laughs> Seems like someone's- Mm-hmm. By the way, 
I heard that you had a duel before the throne. Defeating Signora head-on in a duel. Still, you did end up victor- <sighs> Shit, they cause plenty of trouble- Wait a second, as in, the little thing- Yep, that's- Oh. W what? I handed that over. You did what? Well, how else was I supposed to save your skin from the Balladeer, exactly? The Balladeer is number six of the Fatui Harbinger. I'm not the kind of person who risks life and limb- <laughs> After A created her puppet vessel, as her erstwhile closest friend, A handed it over to me. And I've kept it in the Grand Narukami Shrine. She no longer needs the power of the Gnosis, and in any... Thus the Gnosis became not only useless, but also a potential sor... Is that not a good bargain? Exchanging it for the one at the core of the... Judging by the results, at least, I dare say I struck... <sighs> when you put it like that, Paimon has to agree. The Traveler is worth more... <sighs> Well, what, um, so... <laughs> really? You intend to travel all over to Vat, and the time has come for... As a mark of my gratitude, I... What would you like to know about? That puppet was built with technology that has been lost to time. Perhaps... Still, there is one other thing... Before A began modifying her own godly... F so, you mean there... No. The prototype was merely a proof of concept. Its appearance and the original plan was for A to simply discard it. But perhaps A thought this to be too cruel, because in the later, this puppet wandered Inazuma as an ordinary human male with his Ugh! some eccentric geniuses in the ranks of the Fatui. Mm hmm. The object of divine. What? The it is, isn't it? Who can say whether it's coincidence or destiny? I'm surprised an outlander like you is aware that there was once a change of Electro Archon. Few citizens of Inazuma... Morax told us. He said that the Electro Archon bomb... Yes. The truth of the matter is that there were two twin gods. Twin gods? They won the Archon War together. And when Baal established the Shogunate, Beelzebul became her Kagemusha, or Shadow Warrior. Beelzebul is A, with whom we are now both acquainted. Baal's name was Makoto. As far as the world was aware, there were not two, but one. They c In fact, the name Baal and the title of Raiden Shogun was understood to refer to both of them. Until what? Makoto died several hundred years ago in a war that I was not personally involved in. Losing her sister must have been super hard on A. That was when A began to change. Hi, Mom feels like she... I didn't spend a great deal of time with her, but my impression was... Wow. Sorry, I haven't a clue. I'm also unfamiliar with the... But if you still have doubts about A, not only does she not fit your description, but she voluntarily gave up her gnosis long ago, severing her ties with Celestia in the process. That's good to hear. Otherwise, given that I'm her familiar, it could have made our relationship rather awkward, don't you think? Don't worry, we aren't looking to... <laughs> <laughs> As for your sister's whereabouts, I will use all the resources. I'll let you know if I find out anything. Consider it part of my means. After leaving Inazuma, hmm. Ooh, Sumeru! We've run into loads of. Yes, well, Sumeru is the land of the god of wisdom, but their obsession gives rise to some truly inexplicable things. In Sumeru, knowledge is. Knowledge is. Yes. I don't know whether it was the sages or Lesser Lord Kusanali who came up- Lesser Lord Kus- Oh, you haven't heard. Lesser Lord Kusanali is the deity in who- I'm sure you must have some things to discuss with her too. Are you sure? Okay then. Keep it safe. Is that all you in- <sighs> There was me thinking that you might hang it around your neck to show off to the world, telling everyone who- Who in their right mind- <laughs> Okay, I'll stop. I see. But that is me. Your ambition should be something that transcends the... Perhaps the reason you do not possess a vision is that such an ambition has yet to be engen... Continue on your journey.
another bad one? No, let me try again. Yeah. 